back to the Drift HQ channel. Today, the R34 has made its maiden voyage over here and it is actually getting torn apart. Now, we've kind of made it a ritual whenever we have an old 90s car to tear everything apart, zinc plate the bolts, powder coat whatever we can, vapor hone everything, it's aluminum. Not only does it look great, but it withstands the elements. So today is the start of pulling it apart, figuring out where things are going to go when it comes to the bigger turbo, and uh, we'll let the guys take it from here. The well, booth showed up for work today. Hi guys. We got the boy. And his toolbox. And his toolbox. BYOT. Something different that no one ever does when they come over here. They bring their own tools. Taking the first dive into the new giveaway car. Okay. We need a little more excitement out yeah. of here. Yeah, AKA Boo's Boo's not excited about it because he's literally gonna take every single nut and bolt off of this freaking car in the engine bay, send it out to get zinc coated. So that's why he's not very happy on a Monday. But I guess. We're this ready. is one of my favorite cars though, so I'm very excited to work on it. I will own R34 one day, I promise. Are you going to drift it? Yes. <laughs> See the goods. See Imagine the goods. it's incredibly stock. Good old RB25 Neo. Wow. The best one they make. What's Neo mean? Neo is the newest gen. It has better lifters, solid lifters in it. It has less over oiling issues. It has better oil pump. And you can also fly in the Matrix. Remember I've been that? drifting on one for like five years, stock bottom end. The Neo? Yep. I have two. One yeah. built, one stock. We had that non-turbo Neo we put in, yeah. uh, the, Corvette in the vet. That <laughs> yeah. thing gets down. Yeah. yeah. So this will get a actual, well, I won't say it, but it'll get a bigger turbo than the Corvette. So this will be extra spicy. Well, we're shooting for uh, around a five, 500 mark. We'll see. It's healthy. Yep. Tuned by Lee. You'll see. Yeah. Just fast enough to beat TJ's. You know? That's right. That's why we're yeah, putting the big boy right. on there. Ha ha ha. Yeah. I'm grabbing power tools. Let's get this thing ripped up. All right. Let's go, boy. It's the HKS Super Filter. So Can't I wait to see inside it. See how super the filter is? See how fresh is? it is. I want to see it super duper. I mean, based on the sticker, I'm going to say it's probably got some, some miles on it. Yeah, if you guys have own R34 and your battery dies, you get a Prius battery and a terminal fit right up. That's a Prius battery? Prius battery. Hey, fun facts with Booth today. Yeah. So, because we know we got some R34 owners. Mm -hmm. All right, bet. It's a starting battery for a Prius. Let's see what we got. Oh, the goods, baby. Oh, yeah. yeah, she a little, she a little crusty. Can you hear that shit? It smells like Japan. A whole lot of Japanese there. Damn, the first look at the valves on that. We got all the bolts ready. Double. Joe, what's better than one convertible? Two convertibles. So we're going to combine both of them into one super convertible. Maybe. That involves a forklift. Yeah. Well, I'm not strong enough to lift that up, contrary to popular belief. Old man love belief. Now, granted, this isn't 50 50 weight distribution because they added in a roll bar and some other crap. Well, uh, Cricket, their emphasis is that uh, the A pillar can hold the whole car. Yes. Remember the commercial, as per this commercial. There's no need to explain what makes this BMW safer. Let's see. Yeah, that's good. All right, we did try to put the windows down, but we're going to try and find out if we have 50 50 weight or if this A pillar can hold the car. There is no way. It fucking worked. There's no way. Yo, so convertibles are really safe. Convertibles are very strong. Straight up. So this is new territory for us, not only because we're doing one of Adam's giveaway cars, but also because we are doing basically like a restoration on it. Normally our MO is just to kind of tear everything out of the car and then rebuild it from scratch. But this one we want to retain, you know, like ABS and all the stock chassis functions in the car. So it's going to take a little bit more keeping things in order instead of just tearing everything down and putting back in what we want to.
Well, through the magic of time lapse, let you see that everything is apart from the car, but that 30 seconds was actually, what, about, about three hours? Yeah. About three hours. Pretty solid breakdown, so we're almost ready to pop the motor out of it. We got a few AC components and stuff we're gonna do, but we're actually, are we telling them that we're starting the fab yes. before we paint the engine bay? Yes. All right, so we have our Artec manifold and our Garrett G35-900 that are gonna go on here, and Cricket's gonna do the fab on the downpipe at least get it all tack welded into place before we paint the engine bay. That way we don't have to worry about scratch and everything. Why don't you show them the goods? I get to show the goods? You want to see what's in the box? Show me what's in the box. Oh, baby. First and foremost, always Garrett. Everything Garrett and vibrant. So we got our three to three and a half because it comes out of the turbo with the three inch. We bring it up to three and a half for the downpipe. I just got a vibrant J. You can order them from me. Johan told me this is the easiest and fastest one you get. This almost works perfect. You cut this, turn it down, and then use the other 90 and the 45. So you got to cut here, cut here, and then you can use all three pieces of this, and you might need another six inches to connect to um, the mid pipe. So that's all we need for down pipe, right, from Vibrant, and always get your flex pipe. You know, these are lifesavers. And then we have our trusty Artec manifold, which you guys saw, we had the same one in our C4 Corvette. So we know it fits, we know it gets good horsepower. So with this setup, we should be right around where Boost have the 500 range. Exciting. So we're gonna get started on this, knock this out really quick. That way they can pull the engine and send it off to paint. So you're gonna pull the engine from the bottom? That's how it's looking. Nissans don't have removable front ends like the BMWs. I mean, they do. Nissans do have removable front ends, but you just have to drill out a few spot welds and unbolting them. Oh. That's not a chance I'm willing to take today. So with most aftermarket manifolds, not all aftermarket manifolds, your lower stud clearance because all the runners on a tubular manifold run down to give you more space to keep them equal length. And um, on cast manifolds, they usually run pretty tight on the lower studs. So um, companies like Powerhouse Racing and uh, PRP both make shorter studs for RBs, 2Js, stuff like that to make your manifold fitment a little bit better. And also, you know, fresh hardware always looks good. I don't want to reuse all those crusty manifold studs. These ones are actually in really nice shape though. All right, so I had to show you guys Chris's technique on finding out. <laughs> Got a raised sheet. edge here. You just rub your thumb across that raised edge. Yeah, with some grease they found yeah, somewhere on there. Yeah, some grease in the car, look at that. And I'll trim it out and we can you know, make some adjustments from there. We're gonna make a little plate that drop in right there. All right, so Cricket is making room for intercooler piping because it's gonna yep. get a nice so front I mount. Remove the battery tray, the lack there of a battery tray in the R34, the any S chassis, you know it comes out to here, it's a pain in the butt. There's like nine spot welds for it. I don't know why so many, but we got rid of them all. We're gonna cut a big hole and we're gonna do all the plates and everything. So we're gonna get all these holes filled up. We're gonna weld it and then grind it down, make it smooth, and then the body guys, Josh and Ray, can make it look real nice. Uh, so in the meantime, while he's doing that, I'm gonna just weld a strip on the back of this. So I have a nice three and a half inch hole saw bit, which I'm going to use to cut my holes, except for that one, because it's almost three and a half already. So what I'm gonna do is, obviously I can't put the hole saw bit with the pilot bit through here because it's too big of a hole. So what I'm gonna do is take a little strip of metal, I'm gonna weld it on the bottom side of it, that way I can put my pilot hole through that and it'll keep my hole saw bit even, and then I'll be able to drill a real hole. And then once I get past this stuff, it should drop out and then you'll see the welded bit, you know, start spinning around and going crazy.
If your transmission has a pull type clutch where you're actually pulling the fingers of the pressure plate back as opposed to pressing the release bearing into the pressure plate to release it, there's typically some kind of retainer or snap clip on there. So with this transmission, it does actually have a snap clip in there. So you got to reach in there with a little flat head or a pry bar and kind of just release the little circ clip that's on there and then the slave cylinder release. I'll show you a little more once we get the transmission off the thing. Wow. It's a light transmission. No, it don't well, there's no that. fluid in it. No. So you see right here how there's this groove. Mm -hmm. This groove right here actually locks into that retainer. So what you do is get your pry bar and just wedge this off of this and it'll release. Because without tension, this doesn't actually do anything. Hmm. Pull tight. Stock stuff. Tight. Pull tight. Yeah, so when you push your pedal, you're actually pulling this away instead of pushing it in that way like most transmissions. The more you know. Nissan. Paint. We'll be back on We're Monday to reassemble. The following video is going to be some insight with Ray and Josh. And they're going to teach us how to smooth this stuff out and make it all pretty and back to refresh. Yeah. Make sure. Try to get Booth to kick his foot. What? We're going to say <laughs> like, subscribe, uh, comment. No, yeah. You're done. Yeah, he ain't doing it. It's worth a shot. We're done. We're done. Hey, Booth, how you like working with us so far? Amazing. Great time. That's pretty good for him. Take that. Amazing, great time. Here you go. You heard it from Booth. Honestly, like. Yeah.